At the Met Office, produce forecasts, short-term forecasts, long-term forecasts for the whole world. Short-term forecasting is really looking from the next few hours to the next two or three days. Your ingredients, your raw material really comes from observations. You have to start with the observations first and ultimately you enter a service and advice to a responder community or to government. Then we take all that information, we put it into a supercomputer, which is a, a machine that calculates from that observation and predicts what's going to happen next. And from that we have forecasts that go from the next few hours to the next few days, indeed to the next few weeks. How we produce services and products from that, well that goes to the operations centre. In the operations centre we have forecasters who gather information, interpret that information, deliver warnings, advice. And the key thing about this is one size does not fit all. So for someone who is elderly in a home, probably needs a different way to be communicated and warned for impeding bad weather than say an owner of a critical infrastructure like the power grid. Interpretation by the human is actually critical in the forecast process. The ultimate person in charge is the chief forecaster. The chief forecaster, his job is to make sure that the weather forecast and the warnings are consistent and actually are delivered in such a way that people understand and can take action. If there's a big flood forecast, then working with our partners, the hydrologists and the meteorologists, are able to give advance notice of impeding flood. In receipt of that, Responders can say, right, okay, we've got a flood coming, what do we need to do? We need to clean the culverts, we need to clear the drains, we need to make sure that when the water comes, it goes away quick, and it goes in the area that we want it to go. For someone in a home, the general public, they could do simple things like moving property, moving furniture upstairs, so it takes that threat away. All of which ultimately saves lives and actually saves cost. Floods are case to a lot of cost damage. And by doing that, taking those simple mitigation policy rules and, and actions can actually ultimately save a lot of money.